painting is another way to capture the beauty of a landscape. Award-winning local artist Tom Utek grew up in the North Woods and has made many trips on land and by canoe through the Boundary Waters. He uses those memories to create paintings that showcase the magic of the natural world, and he hopes to inspire us to go outside and experience nature ourselves. Painting itself and the act of painting is not a goal or an inspiration. It is instead a means to an end. It will permit me to create an image which can transport me and whoever hopefully is looking at it into a state of mind that I really, really like. My name is Tom Utek and um, I'm trying to be an artist. The art that I do is physically, it's paintings and photography. They are allegorical or metaphoric Northwoods landscapes. Well, we're sitting here in Tory Farliard Gallery at a solo show that I currently have, and we have decided to call it The Spirit of the Forest. The works in this exhibition are uh, a continuation of a body of work that uh, I have done now for all of my uh, mature life and most of them are things that are landscapes like this which are uh, based upon my experiences of uh, walking and paddling my canoe around in the uh, northern Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota and Ontario. They are large paintings, they are small paintings, they are different subject matters to some extent within that, within that uh, chosen range. They're definitely on the same track of work that I have been doing for a long time. I go back to the North Country for the inspiration, probably for a lot of reasons. Uh, one of them is that's where I grew up and that uh, is in my blood, uh, basically genetically. All of my family has lived up there in the way back in the woods. When they came from Germany, they came from a part of Germany that was similar. So it may be something that you just inherit. The uh, characteristics of the place that I have identified as home are important uh, ingredients that create that sense, I think starting with the glacial evidence of the large uh, amounts of bedrock that are exposed, the large glacial erratic rocks that are laying around the woods, sometimes as big as a house, the evergreen trees, the moss that grows in the ground, the magic of hearing wolves howling at night, the light, it all wraps up into a single thing. This is just a, a, an extra special wholeness that is the combination of all of that stuff. And I really discover well, when I show these paintings, and there's a lot of people that share that, that same need. These paintings are not ever paintings about any specific place or any specific time. They're instead a uh, fictional recreation out of representations of real components. Since I'm not using any kind of a references, I start with a piece of charcoal on the canvas, on the bare canvas, and just start looking for what the painting is all about. It usually emerges you know, with a lot of work. And these drawings are, most of the time, are elaborated upon, altered, removed, started over, and so forth. It's a very open experience. Then I have to uh, arrange it in such a way so that the design itself carries most of the meaning that I'm trying to accomplish. And then it's a question of starting to paint it and painting it over and over and over again, uh, you know, many layers. And finally, there will be a moment when you realize that you've got the complete package in front of yourself. Somehow it happens, you just know it when it's there. I won't quit if I just sort of feel like, well, I've got to get something out there. I have learned I can just keep doing it over and over again until I get it right, and I, I don't have to. Wor I don't spend any time at all worrying about destroying something that's good in the process of fixing the whole thing. These paintings are the in the product of the experience of being in the woods. And one thing that has interested me from the very beginning of my canoe travels 
is the appearance of and the quality of reflections in the water. It's just a real neat visual thing to see that. And I am able to simultaneously see this landscape that I love so much, that interests me so much, up here, and then down at the bottom in the water, I see the same landscape upside down. There is really something incredible and magical about seeing this mirrored landscape. These paintings have often um, encouraged people to stand and look at them for a long time. And I take that single thing as the best compliment that an artist could get. My biggest wish is that they would come here and look at these paintings and want to get the hell out of the gallery as fast as they could and go out in the woods someplace and sit down and experience it themselves. I think of these paintings as having an important environmental, political message that isn't overt. I really do look at them as, uh, as invitations to go out and become uh, involved with and active in uh, natural causes. If you can engage a viewer for a long time, that's what's, um, that's rewarding. You can see Tom Utech's art in galleries across Wisconsin, and he recently completed an exhibition of work at the Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. Discover more of Tom Utech's work at the Tory Folliard Gallery website at toryfolliard.com. For more information on this week's features, visit our website at mptv.org and click on the Arts page. Or like us on Facebook at The Arts Page for updates and join our conversations there.